my friends. That sign you're looking at above is our destination for today. This is a place you have to make reservations for about a month or two in advance, so we did that. Today we're going to the Broad. And look at this guy. Speed legs. That's right, today we're going to one of my favorite art museums in all of Los Angeles. They have a waiting list because it's that good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. And a big thank you to everyone who's been watching the last road trip. I mean, this is, it's been really great. Every, the views have been up and it just kind of inspires me to do more and more of this every month. Probably won't happen next month because we're going to Portugal, but probably July we'll do another road trip, if not before. I know I'm going somewhere at least for an overnight here in about two weeks. Free library. And I'm, and I'm thinking I might splurge a little bit on my hotel during that trip because there's a place I read about that I'd like to stay on my way that I think would be really cool to check out. I always love this house. This looks like a little slice of heaven here on the corner. One of the things I think often gets overlooked about traveling is, one of my favorite things about it is I love getting to travel around and seeing how people have created their environment they live in, like how they found ways of making themselves happy. Especially going through Pacific Grove, I saw so many cool houses that I was like, yeah, I, this is more my community than anywhere we've been so far. We have made it. Here it is. Los Angeles, the Broad. And of course I didn't come out alone. My buddy just came back in town, so we came to hang out and check out the Broad together. Have you ever been here, Adam? That's yeah, my first time, man. Thanks to you. As you can tell, the building itself is a work of art as well. Yes, well, I'd say this is as good a place as anywhere to start. Like I said, there's a reason this place is so exclusive. You have to sign up on the first of every month to get a reservation. And this kind of reminds me of our vlog yesterday. After this, your brain may not work the same way again. The New Age Three Stooges. We better move on or we'll stand here forever. Now, this this museum was actually donated by Eli Broad. Eli Broad spent about 50 years amassing a post-war collection, and so that's what you're gonna see here today. Some really great pop art that I think you guys are really gonna like. Anyone care for some Andy Warhol? Yep, believe it or not, that is an Andy Warhol. It kinda looks like Frank Zappa almost, doesn't it? Or a lion. That's a very powerful Jacqueline Onassis at the funeral. And I guess you could call this the one that made him famous. Keep that in mind, artists. And this one's an Edward Ruschi. It says Desire. That's an Edward Ruschi called Las Cienegas on Fire. And that was his very first painting showing buildings on fire. I've actually eaten there and that's where Francesca Hilton died. She was Jean-Jacques Gabor and Conrad Hilton's daughter. And here it almost looks like it was unfinished. You can see the pencil. I really love the style of this. It kind of makes different styles to create. It's like really beautiful. See, this one to me I, I really like because for some reason it feels like, almost like you're in a roller coaster, you're like you're looking up at a roller coaster. I don't know, that's my interpretation. Oh, this is a great one too. 
I always love that style of almost like a uh, collage motif or like a collage style to it. That's always the kind of stuff I always like to create myself. Now some things like this aren't really my thing. However, the same artist created something right beside this that really is my thing. And it's this. Well, what do you think? I think it's pretty spectacular. And that's a bit different. And I do like both of these. I like how that face is kind of turned sideways. But I like this one, I think, a little bit more. You can see there's like a volcano happening right out of his head. Okay, now I'm in heaven. We're in the Lichtenstein room. One of my all-time favorite pop artists. And you gotta love this 3D one. This is great. That's, as you can tell, that's a painting, but... Sorry. You might think that this beautiful piece of art is the most amazing thing here. It's not. Adam, can you guess which one I'm going to say is the Me. most... Well, close. It's right behind you. Oh. This is my favorite piece here. The Michael Jackson. The Michael Jackson and Bubbles. God, it's so, so close. Okay, I guess I just lied to you because this is new. This wasn't here last time I was here. It's Buster Keaton. Somebody made a phenomenal Buster Keaton right here. Yeah, I would definitely put this in my house. I love this kind of stuff. Very psychedelic. There's a story in every little frame of it. You see that guy with the mustache and the beard and everything there? It's great. I love this. Oh, this Lichtenstein is, I mean, it, I feel like I'm walking into the Simpsons right here. Doesn't that feel so lifelike? It feels like a lifelike cartoon. Check out this rabbit. He's got like a dagger in his hand or something. Look at this little model train. It's like a chrome J.B. Turner train. Oh, I didn't even look at this one. This is great. I love that part of it right there. You are a very special person. If you're so successful, why do you feel like a fake? Oh, wow. I love that one. Take a look at that. There's some really interesting details to this. If you look... You can see a family gathering down here, and then you see a soccer ball. You can tell now that it's waves of an ocean. You can see a search party up here. Look at that. Do you get it? This is the shore. And that's obviously the reflection of what's going by in the water. Let's see if you look close enough, you can see that vase, that broken vase that's floating in the water. You can kind of tell the water line here. And I really love that one. Wow, look how huge this is. Well, you can see Adam over there in the green shirt, so you can kind of get an idea of how big and how amazing this piece is. Reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, you know, the one pill makes you smaller. Shall we go inside? Shall we look around at the chair? 
touching the table, sir. Sorry. <coughs> Pretty awesome. This is one of their centerpieces of their collection. All right, let's go to the next room. This room. Well, that clearly is Basquiat. And the only way I know that is because I remember seeing when Lars Ulrich, the drummer of Metallica, was selling off a lot of his art, and he had a lot of Basquiat. Made a fortune off of it when he sold it, too. I love this one. And this one. What is this, like a communist shrine or something? Seems a little confusing. This is way cool. If you look close enough, this one's extremely sexual, surprisingly. Let's go see what's in here. Oh, Adam the Woo's in here. Are you part of this exhibit? Hello, sir. Welcome to the hardware store. <laughs> this is a semi-circle exhibit that takes up the entire room and tells a story along the way. There's some pretty provocative images in here if you take a look. Very provocative. And then here's a smaller glass exhibit of the same style of art. Pretty controversial style, wouldn't you say? Now this is a photo, and this is the kind of stuff I just, this isn't my style to put in a museum exhibit. Now we're going to go down to the mirror room here in a little bit, but Adam, this is the, the exit to the third floor. Do you at all feel like you're no. in Star Trek here? Or? This is an exhibit. This is part of the art installation. Oh, I didn't get that at all. You have to use your own interpretation on what the fire thing mixed with exit means. See, it's like exit and fire. Do you have to be on fire to exit by exiting? Are you aflamed? I never understood new art. It's art. It's art. Like I said, man, Star Trek. Doesn't that elevator look like Star Trek right there? <sighs> this is where they store all the work that's not on display. You can tell down there. Well, in order to do the mirror room, we had to sign up before we even started doing our, our tour of the museum because it was a two hour wait. So we actually are done. We're gonna go grab some food and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the mirror exhibit. I have no idea what this is, but that's one of their featured attractions um, right now at the museum. So we went to check it out, it's free. And you can even get your Andy Warhol exhibit merch here. Look at that, You've got a chess board, a big pillow, nice. And that's the man we owe a thank you to, Eli Broad. Wow, as you walk to go get something to eat, check out this art piece. Isn't that great? Kind of wacky. Well, we decided on Greek food today. All right. We pretty much uh, ran the gamut here on the Greek food. We both got the chicken shawarma. We got some spanakopita. We got some falafel. Time to eat. Well, it's pretty crazy. We both agreed. We we have a Greek place that we eat at a lot together, and uh, and we both agreed this place is probably even better. It's called George's downtown. All right, we've returned for the mirror room. Adam and I are in the mirrored room, and it's very bizarre. Can't exactly tell where the room goes. Millions of light years away. It was worth the wait. Well, that's it for the Broad. 
If you're in town, make that reservation and get out here. It's totally worth it. And if you were wondering about the crosswalks, yep, that's part of the exhibit as well. All right, now we just wait for our train. Well, good night, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Broad today. I want to thank Deacon Fuse, Ann Morgan, and Brittany Holland for becoming my newest Patreons. And thank you all for watching. I hope you saw something in here today that you enjoyed. And I hope it inspired you to go see a museum in your area. If you have one close enough by, you can go check it out. Have a great night. We'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Just on the street that don't end. And you just gotta find something by three in the morning. This going for higher. I burn my own fire. Prometheus bound up is my living.